Conservative Party members can stand with people who wave swastikas. Point of order, uh, the Honourable Member for Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, I am a strong Jewish woman and a member of this House and a descendant of Holocaust survivors, and I have never made to, I've, it's never been singled out, and I have never been made to feel less, except for today when the Prime Minister accused me of standing with swastikas. I think he owes me an apology. I'd like an apology, and I think he owes an apology to all members of this House. I think the best thing that's happened so far are the truckers in Canada, who hopefully will be a model for other truckers and other working class people who will rise up and say enough. They are our hope. <laughs> and it's a fact that we really, really need to recognize that people who are not totally brainwashed can see the big lie. And they are really prompted to get up and take their chances and do what has to be done to stop it. I hope that others follow and that we will be rid of this. Of course, we really need to put the perpetrators on trial. This is terribly important. I want to stress that the vital lesson from the Holocaust, which many survivors who were quite prominent, some Nobel laureates like Elie Wiesel, they noted that what facilitated the Holocaust was the silence and indifference of those who watched and did nothing to prevent it. Silence, the onlookers, and the failure to intervene. That's what caused the Holocaust. And uh, as Dietrich Bonhoeffer, German Protestant minister during the Hitler regime, stated, and quote, Silence in the face of evil is itself evil. Not to speak is to speak. Not to act is to act.